We asked media education professionals how different stakeholders could adapt the instructional principles for inclusive media literacy and how media educators could use them in their work. In this video I share examples of ideas from professionals. The use of instructional principles should be considered from the perspective of your own work and the community. There are many ways to develop. Discussing, sharing, experiences and looking at different examples can provide inspiration and ideas for experimentation. How can a primary school adapt instructional principles? How can teachers use them in their own work? Professionals felt that the instructional principles were appropriate for both school administrators and teachers to use. This shows how important it is for everyone to be able to apply the instructional principles to their own work. They saw it as the responsibility of the head teacher to implement the instructional principles in the school. In an ideal situation, the school has a designed media education officer and a common media education portal that provides up-to-date information and materials for teachers. It is hoped that there will be sufficient resources for special teachers and assistants and that teachers will have opportunities to develop their own skills. The school's cooperation with other agencies was seen as important. Cooperation could be deepened with, for example, the authorities, the local library, associations and different organizations. In particular, it is worth remembering national and international theme weeks and days in media education, like Media Literacy Week and Games Week. Through networks, it is possible to find diverse and high-quality media education teaching materials or partners with whom to produce them. You can ask the library for equipment to lend to your classroom and organizations for external visitors to your school. Knowing the pupils' starting point was seen as a way of supporting the implementation of media education in lessons. Professionals pointed to the open badge system, which can be used to ident identify pupils' media and digital literacy skills. Media education can be integrated into different subjects according to the yearly cycle. A pre-designed annual media education calendar can help lower the threshold for taking action. Professionals encourage teachers to implement media education beyond digital devices. Pupils have a lot of skills and ideas. For example, make use of peer learning to address different aspects of media literacy. Professionals recognize that implementing equitable media literacy in schools is a process that may never be completed. Identifying existing strengths from an equitable media literacy perspective can be a starting point. How can a social work association use instructional principles to organize an online digital course for adults with mental disabilities? 
professionals saw that getting to know the target group opened the door to all the instructional principles for inclusive media literacy. Listening to the needs of the target groups helps design needs-based activities. Well done groundwork contributes to learning engagement in digital literacy courses. Building trust with and between participants should be the starting point. A safe space for learning should be created and encounters should be respectful and constructive. For example, a common set of rules can be established among a group. Professionals suggested that it is also possible to participate anonymously in an online course so that no personal data are stored. Ideally, participants will feel a sense of community during the course. It is a good idea to clarify the motivator for participants at an early stage and possibly set carrots along the way. Professionals consider that measuring competencies can be one way to motivate participants. This will help them de determine whether there is a change in digital skills during the course. If the course takes place online, it is good to consider the different pedagogical tools available at a distance. Professionals highlighted the, the national strategies guiding the activities. Libraries and various projects were mentioned as possible partners. Networks can, be, can provide additional resources to existing ones. A supportive atmosphere and success, successful experiences will hopefully create a continuous learning flame that will motivate people to continue learning digital literacy after the course as well. How can a laser instructor in a small community, use planning principles to organize activities for people of different ages. Professionals saw the role of the laser instructor as a facilitator of media education activities in the municipality. They convene partners and act as a link between the different media education actors and management. The laser instructor is familiar with the regional policies of the municipality and motivates management to engage in activities based on these policies. The professionals identified several potential partners for laser instructor in the municipality. Parishes can bring young and older citizens together for the same activities. Libraries can offer facilities for media education activities and critical media literacy can be promoted in cooperation with the local theatre. Opportunities for cooperation with schools should also be explored. Professionals stressed that inclusion creates more effective action. Therefore, local people of different ages and backgrounds should be actively involved. In a small community, the accessibility of activities from long distances must be considered. The library van serves citizens living outside urban areas and digital materials can be accessed regardless of location, as long as there is internet access. It is the possibility of the laser instructor to carry out a needs assessment. What 
how and for whom should media education activities be organized in the municipality. When creating the implementation plan, the instructor must balance between what the citizens would like to learn and what the professionals think they need to learn. The available resources also have a strong influence on implementation planning. The instructor is diligent in piloting the planned activities and developing them further based on the evaluations carried out together with partners and management. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,